Hi guys, this is Oksana and I am currently 21 and I'm from NorCal or Northern California. Woo. Right now, I am only active on two social medias. I'm currently gonna plan for YouTube but that's gonna not be for a while. It's gonna be a couple more months but all of my accounts are all Lazy Tam so I'm Lazy Tam on Tumblr and I'm Lazy Tam on Cosplay Amino and I will be Lazy Tam hopefully on YouTube. Yeah. I have been cosplaying on and off since I was in 7th grade. So 7th grade was my first time and that was probably back in 2008 or 2007. And basically I cosplayed once and then I stopped and then a friend introduced Fanime to me a couple years later in junior year of high school and that's when I really started upping my game for cosplaying and uh, saw what the, really, the real hype was about and that's when I really started cosplaying. So like I said earlier, how I got into cosplaying was that a friend of mine in 7th grade had introduced what, that, what cosplaying was. It's pretty much dressing up when it's not Halloween and you dress up as like anime characters, not just like a witch. Um, you dress up as this and dress up as that. That was interesting, especially like hearing it from her. So we decided to cosplay um, for Cherry Blossom Festival in San Francisco and I was Hinamori Momo for my first year. So what I honestly enjoy most about cosplaying is honestly the reaction of people when you kind of do a character right. Not necessarily like there's a way to do a character wrong, but when you bring a character to life, it's one of my favorite things in the world. Um, I think two years ago I cosplayed as Robin or Helena Wayne and a lot of people just thought I just cosplayed as a gender bent Robin. Um, but regardless of if they knew who she was, um, they were really excited nonetheless. They were just like, oh my gosh, it's Robin! And all these kids got really excited and hyped. When I cosplayed as uh, Miss America Chavez and it got the attention that I thought, never thought it would get, um, it was pretty exciting to just see these people get happy and excited that their favorite characters or characters they look up to uh, get, br like, get brought to life. And that's like honestly the best reaction I could honestly get from other people who don't cosplay or are cosplayers is the fact that they get really excited that like you brought a character to life and that's like honestly my favorite thing in the world. So some other cosplays I have done before have been Miss America Chavez, Robin or Helena Wayne, Huntress, Helena Wayne, Seychelles from Italia, and the only two I haven't or I don't even have pictures of because they're so old is probably Kuchiki Rikia and uh, Hinamori Momo. It's definitely my weeaboo stage and I don't I don't have any pictures of those. <laughs> so sad. I don't buy my cosplays. I do try to find cheap ways to take like for me to do my costumes. I love sewing but sewing costumes is such a pain in the butt sometimes it's just like I just want to dress up I just want to be this character I would probably look for things that I can modify but if I really really can't modify these clothes or I can't find any of it I definitely would make it from scratch I haven't bought an actual costume before but I'm thinking of maybe one day doing it we'll see how it goes or getting it commissioned I cosplay because it helps to stresses me. I'm full-time work, full-time student. It's really stressful to constantly be keeping up with the world every day. It's not healthy nonetheless, but when I cosplay or when I start sewing or come up with new ideas of what co like characters I want to be or um, sewing and working on a costume, it kind of takes the worry away for probably like five to ten minutes and to sit there for like about two hours to sew and to plan out details, it gets me to learn how to budget and all that fun stuff. That's like the main reason why I love cosplaying is the fact that I can use different types of skills that I've learned and accumulated throughout the years and just apply them into like one project, which is really cool. And that's one of my favorite things of why I cosplay, honestly. Besides she stressing, it's just applying all these different skills that I've learned since I was a kid. Ever since I did start cosplaying about until and and 2012, I started following these people 
on YouTube and you may know them as Mangles, Irene, and Cartoon, and Solo Grayson. So these are the three main three people I follow. The most I follow is probably Mangles, Irene, and I've always loved looking at her vlogs and that fact that she takes so much time to make these costumes and bring these characters to life. She's definitely a really huge inspiration for me, especially when she vlogs and shows me how an East Coast con looks. I kind of live through her con vlogs and it's always really exciting to see when she posts something new just so I can just look through them or listen to um, what she's doing as I sew and get motivated for a new con or new costume and stuff like that. I can't really see myself cosplaying in 10 years. <laughs> I'm gonna be 31, so at that point, I'm hoping that I would have the job that I really desire to have, which is social work. I believe with 100% with like all my heart that I need to put all my time into those kids. Cosplaying and doing all this stuff is really fun and making it is really fun, but it does take a lot of time, it takes a lot of money. I don't really see myself doing it in 10 years just because of all the time it takes. and. Doing the work I would do, it would take so much time out of my day already. Time that I do have, I would rather spend with family. And basically, I will probably be going to cons, but going to cosplay when I'm 31, I really highly doubt it, unfortunately. So my favorite um, cosplay project so far has been obviously like what I'm wearing right now. It's Scarlet Witch. Just because her costume is so simple and so modern day, plus if you were to dress up as her and like anybody dressed up as her, it's very easy to pull off. On top of that, it's just really fun and it was really a really quick project for me. It didn't have me like lingering and being frustrated. The fact that this project was so easy makes me really happy and the fact that it wasn't a, like a bank or budget breaker, that was one of the greatest things of all too. Cosplaying is honestly for fun, something you do, something you have fun with, and something people enjoy doing is just bringing characters to life. There's a like, huge political scene with cosplaying and whatnot, like, oh, you can't cosplay, you're this, you're this, you're this. You can't cosplay certain characters, you're this, this, this. Cosplaying for me is just honestly a form of art. I think for people, they like to bring in politics because it's happening in modern time, and yeah. But for cosplaying, honestly, if people find a way to de-stress from that, are you really going to discourage them from de-stressing? or whatnot. You love these characters so much, you're willing to bring them to life, you're willing to act like these characters, you're willing to do this and that for these characters and kind of share the love for this, for the, the characters you're, you're cosplaying as. And honestly, one of my favorite things about cosplaying is just seeing people light up when they talk about their characters and seeing them light up when they're talking about their con vlogs or talking about like costuming and um, different types of media with these characters. And it's honestly one of the best things in the world. So, yeah.